What's up, Rise Up fam? Today we're gonna be tackling sauces in the kitchen as well as doing a super quick 12 minute meal. So one thing that I know it's been a struggle for a lot of people with cooking is coming up with things that they can make really quickly. So it's the end of the day, you're really tired, you don't know what to make. This is one of my go-tos that I like to, to throw in there. It takes anywhere from eight to 12 minutes. It's dairy-free, wheat-free, gluten-free, flavorful. I'm gonna do a vegetarian version, a vegan version, um, and then also talk about what you can do for a meat version as well. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get those pots of water boiling. We got one going for our noodles and one going for our hard boiled eggs. The ingredients you're gonna need are, I have a, a, a gluten-free rice ramen pad here, a bag of Chinese style stir fry frozen vegetables. I got tofu, I got two eggs, and I've already prepped up my vegetables here, but you would need um, a little bit of onion. I like to have fresh onion in there, even though there is onion in the frozen blend. And then the sauce we're gonna be making is a really quick and easy Asian sauce. It's almost kind of like a dim sum sauce. Um, and it also has a fish sauce version and then one without it. So we're gonna be covering that today as well. All right, so once our water starts to boil here, we're gonna be putting in our eggs and our little ramen noodle pad. One tip is to use a slotted spoon to lower the egg into the water. So that way you're not going to be dropping it and potentially cracking it open. And so I'm gonna do that for both of these eggs here. And then I'm gonna set a timer for nine minutes. All right, so I got our water boiling for our noodles. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that guy in there. I'm gonna start breaking those up after about a minute and those are gonna only take about three to four minutes to cook. So while I got that timer going, I got a pan on, got a little bit of oil in the pan, getting it heated up. We're gonna be starting to cook our vegetables as well as our tofu. And these are the moments where you really wanna utilize your downtime. So while I'm eat, waiting for that oil to heat up in the pan, I'm gonna to start to pre-mix my sauce as well as get any other vegetables that I need ready. If I haven't diced my onion yet, this is where I'd be dicing my onion and getting it ready to throw in the pan. All right, so it's been about a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and start separating these noodles. If I just leave it in a pack and I don't get them separated and get water around all the different noodles in there, then it's gonna cook unevenly. So you wanna make sure that you're separating it out so that way it all gets cooked down at the same time. All right, so we're gonna be mixing up our Asian sauce here. So I got our cocoa aminos. I'm gonna go about two tablespoons, one to two tablespoons. I'm gonna go about two teaspoons, so that's two thirds of a tablespoon. If you didn't know that little metric trick, three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Then I'm gonna go with just a dash, probably like a quarter of a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead, add a tiny bit of salt because Coco Aminos is not as salty as soy sauce. So just a little bit of salt a little bit of black pepper and I'm also going to add a little bit of fish sauce as well but if you're vegan or vegetarian you just omit this and it doesn't change the flavor a ton but it does give it a richness like an umami similar to adding mushrooms to things um, and it's really a fantastic flavor and then I'm just going to take a little whisk and whisk that up. Oh one thing I forgot we put in here as well is just a little bit of honey. Now, if you are vegan, you can use agave, or if you're not trying to do sugar, you can also use swerve or monk fruit, and you can also omit it entirely as well. You don't have to add a little bit in there. Just a little bit of sweetness is what I'm trying to add in there. All right, so that is our sauce. And that was quick, it was only a minute. All right, my eggs are done here. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out with that slotted spoon and I'm gonna move them over to an ice bath. Oh, looks like this guy cracked. That's good, that's why I got two of them in there. All right, so I'm gonna let those sit in the ice bath so that way I can start de-shelling them. All right, so I got my veggies in the pan there. 
They're gonna start to saute up, and while that's doing that, I'm going to start cutting up my tofu. With tofu, is you're gonna to wanna to pat it down to get all this excess water out of it. If you don't do that, it's gonna have a hard time frying up in a pan, and you're gonna struggle getting a nice crisp crispness to the texture. The tofu seasoned up here. Got a harissa seasoning on there, and some garlic powder, sea salt, and black pepper, and then I'm just gonna throw these guys right in to this pan. All right, so while that is grilling up on the stove, I'm gonna go ahead and deshell these eggs. So a trick to deshelling or peeling an egg is to use the back side of a spoon and to knock around the entire egg. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help release the membrane, the internal membrane, from the egg itself. Just going around the entire thing. And then I'm gonna start by just grabbing a section. You can see how that's now starting to come out really easily. go. Right, I'm going to rinse this off so I get all these little bits of shell. Biting into a shell is probably like the one of the worst experiences. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this under cold water to make sure all that's off there. Another really good addition to add to the sauce is either fresh grated or minced ginger. A really cool trick using a spoon, just like using the back of the spoon to knock on an egg to help peel it. If you've never tried this, this is going to revolutionize how you peel ginger. So rather than using a grater, or some other peel to get this rough skin off here. I'm gonna use the side of a spoon, basically like a paring knife, and I'm gonna come back through and I'm just gonna peel off the skin. So I'm pushing down, holding with my thumb, and I'm coming back towards my thumb with the rest of my hand, and you can see that skin is just coming right off. All right, my noodles are done, so I'm gonna try one to make sure they're cooked all the way. Temperature. So I'm gonna cook this tofu up about two, two and a half minutes on each side, and I'm cooking on a medium high temperature, so like a 7.5 out of a 10 scale, and making sure my veggies are in a single layer. And then after about four minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle some of the sauce, not all of it, probably about a quarter to a half of it. What that's going to do is that's going to reduce down and it's going to flavor all of my vegetables. I didn't put any seasoning on the vegetables whatsoever. And it's also going to have like this blackened, delicious flavor to the tofu. Oh yeah, that's looking fantastic. All right, so my veggies and my tofu are done. I'm going to transfer them to the bowl and plate up. All right, we got our awesome little ramen bowl here. I got our tofu, our sauteed vegetables, our ramen noodles. We're going to take our sauce, we're going to drizzle the remainder of our sauce, or as much as you want on there. Then we're going to top it with some sesame seeds. Then take a little bit of some sliced scallions or green onions. Last but not least, our hard boiled egg. And there you have it, a quick and easy midweek meal that will make the entire family happy.